You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. how y'all doing it is your girl your diva in knowledge lady mocha representing mocha's ladies lounge hope everybody is doing well on this lovely day so nevertheless y'all i wanted to go directly directly into this content because there is a lot to cover this is going to be a totally different <clears throat> content um, compared to many that I have covered and addressed due to the fact that this is a very, very touchy, uncomfortable, unpleasant um, subject in which a lot of content creators do not want to touch because uh, it's very prone to um, getting those involved upset, especially if you're calling it out. For what it is or just the fact that you have a mere suspicion mere mere suspicion regarding it um it can very well um touch a soft spot so you don't have many content creators um especially those who are referencing to love and marriage in huntsville that's going to go this deeply in depth because it opens a lot of doors that a lot of individuals would not be comfortable with discussing. Now, the first thing I definitely want to say before I go really deep into this, before I take my shovel and start digging, is that for one, everything that I'm getting ready to say in this video is based off of my personal opinion. This is my personal anal anal analyst. Um, I do not have any actual factual facts. Um, I'm not indicating if someone has a sexual preference or they don't have a sexual preference preference. So basically nothing I say in this video should be taken as facts. It's just specifically based off of my personal assessment, how I perceive the situation, um, my personal outlook. So this is my disclaimer. Everything I'm getting ready to say is alleged. It's alleged. Um, we got to say that, you know, to be nice. It's alleged. Again, there's no facts. There's no tangible evidence that the claims that I am getting ready to make is valid. Okay? Um, so, it's very imperative that this is addressed before I even go into this content. Because, again, it's going to be very, very touchy. It's going to touch some spots that um, a lot of people are not going to be too happy. <laughs> Especially if Mr. Holt would have, uh, by chance, run into this video or view this video if somebody was to share it with him. So, nevertheless, Mr. Holt, not saying you are that way, but this is just my personal opinion. Secondly, I do not have a problem with the LG, um, L L B. What is it? LGBT <laughs> community. Um, I have no problem with um, those who are within the pride lifestyle. I think everybody deserves to love who they want to love. And trust and believe, I go in on straight couples just as, I, just as much as I do um, with those who partake in a different type of 
same-sex lifestyle. So nevertheless, this video is not to offend anyone or disrespect anyone. I got love for everybody. I even have um, the, L the LGBT individuals in my family. Matter of fact, my brother, he is in a relationship with a man who I love dearly. So um, nevertheless, we're not going to, uh, you know, disrespect anyone in any shape or form. Um, first off, I want to start off by saying that um, just because you have two men and, and one that is in that lifestyle and the other one that is not in that lifestyle, um, it does not mean that they have anything necessarily sexual going on. Basically, what I'm insinuating is that um, you can have a, a, a rainbow, a rainbow, a bro whister that can have a friendship with a straight man. That is very probable. Um, not all men that are straight and have friendship with a barista, it means that he has any type of download tendencies or any other um, 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 sexual uh, tendencies. Also, there you, you can have a barista and a straight man be business partners um a person can both have the same ideas as far as wanting to uh expand a brand or build some type of empire and there not be anything sexually inappropriate going on um also you do have baristas and straight men um, that can have a straight friendship, just specifically a friendship without any type of sexual desires, um, involved amongst each other or without any sexual involvement. So I don't want this misconception to be that because a straight man is constantly, is within the presence of a barista, that he's either, um, that way also, or he's trying to straddle the fence by having download tendencies still dealing with women and still able to fornicate with men um uh, i just don't want to put that perception in anybody's mind that a barista and a straight man um can't have a friendship or can't have a connection without it being something sexually um um inappropriate going on but what i will say is this um very rarely do you have men that are straight. You don't see too often that they hang in the company of a barista as strongly as Martel and Carlos does. Okay? Um, it's too close for comfort. And this is just my alleged, um, if something isn't going on, I'm quite sure that if Carl, if Carlos and Martel continue to hang heavy in the company of each other too too much too often or any longer, depending on um, how things transpire, it's not to say that it's not a possibility that it cannot happen. Um, truth is, a lot of men that are now baristas, the majority of them can tell you they were straight at some point in time and you have to realize that men who get drawn into that lifestyle is a gradual thing this is how it begins this is how it starts off with a lot of closeness and connections now what martel doesn't realize is that just like he has an agenda he had it with Arion, he had it with Sheree, and he definitely has it with Carlos. What he's not understanding is that a lot of people also have an agenda with, with, with him. While Martel is thinking he's using everyone, capitalizing off of them, he's building these friendships with people based off the fact that they, uh, they, they seem to share a common enemy, which is his ex-wife Melanie. He thinks that uh, everyone has his best interests at heart because he's benefiting off of them not liking male as well. But he does not realize that 
truth is a lot of these individuals are also using him and benefiting off of him. Contrary to what many don't want to believe, Arion was using Martell just as much as Martell was using her. Okay? Um, she had an agenda just like he did. And it came back to backfire. Ironically, um, everybody has consistently been pushing a narrative that uh, Martell was using Arion. When the truth is also, Arion was using Martell. She made him, she kept sexually being available, giving, giving it up to him on the daily basis, um, getting him so comfortable to the point to where he stopped wearing protection. She knew that sooner than later, whenever she was ready to hook Martel and, and, and catch him off guard, that um, she would be able to do so. And when the time was right, or if she felt threatened that Martel was going to try to pull out from her, or whatever the case was, she baited him. And that is how she conceived Little Helmet. Uh, no different than Sheree. Um, everybody, you know, has been basically um, dragging him for using Sheree, but at the same time, Sheree was using him too. Um, Sheree needed a storyline. Sheree doesn't really have... Um, nothing significant enough in her life going on to keep a peach on the show. Um, she doesn't have no real drama. She doesn't have nothing fascinating that's keeping her there. So, although Martel had an agenda to get involved with Sheree or pretend to get involved with Sheree, because for one, he still wants to make Mel mad, and for two, um, he, he loves notoriety. Martel is an attention whore. He loves attention, even if it's bad attention. But what he doesn't realize is Sheree was using him too. She needed the storyline. Um, she needed the clout. So this goes without saying. Carlos has an agenda just like everybody else. Carlos is not doing all of these above and beyond things for Martel without looking for something in return. Now, we've seen this friendship, supposedly, this bromance build up over time. We've witnessed this bromance um, to, to the point to where the, the first, well, I don't know if it was the first episode, but one of the episodes in which Carlos was basically uh, crying, showing compassion for Martel basically saying that, you know, we know that you still love Melanie. And we know that the reason, you know, you treat her the way that you do is because you, you still you regret how things transpired after you did what you did. You know, it not, it's one thing to have compassion or empathy for a man. But when it gets to the point you're crying, to the point it almost made Martel shed a tear, but you can tell because it's pride in his ego, he was trying to hold back. If he did shed a tear, it was maybe like one. But you can tell Carlos was trying to break into his emotional chamber a little bit. And one thing that 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 uh Martel has made himself very evident upon is that people know as long as they act like they have empathy for him. They can get him. Martel is very easy to get. He's very easy to play upon. While Martel think he's the only one that's doing all the playing and the land that's getting people to stand. What he don't understand is a lot of people are playing him too. Um, Martel is easy to get. Anybody on this planet can get Martel. Okay, all you got to do is approach him and be like, look. Hey, I'm a fan of the show. Just let you know, I don't think it's right what Mel and everybody's doing. You're a really good man. You deserve somebody to be on your team. And, and you can get them. You can get them. Martel is always, Mar Martel could easily be suckered because he's always looking to sucker somebody. You know what I mean? So, um, Martel could easily get got. All you got to do is show some empathy some sympathy, some compassion, make it seem like you anti-gang male, and he's building a friendship with you. Okay, well, let me give you my phone number. He's creating a business with you. He wants to do 
something he wants to create some type of bond with you as long as you um act as if you have some resentment um towards male all you have to do is play on the i don't like how male treats you i don't like how male doesn't um um allow you uh to to, to uh be there more for your children all you have to do is play on his heartstrings by making it seem as if you are also against male and you have others that know how to sweetly do it and i strongly believe that carlos is passive aggressive meaning that he knows he cannot drag male a hundred percent to call to martel because for one um male is his bread and butter um and for two he's trying to straddle the fence and make it seem like he's not siding with one or the other because he is hosting this show and which we know it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that Carlos has favor and he definitely has favoritism. That is that that's just obvious. Okay, but um nevertheless, Carlos knows he has to play this role. And see, this is the thing um that Martel is not understanding. He made himself easily available to be used because he's so thirsty. He's trying to get put on. He's trying to build friendships, build bonds with any and everybody that acts as if they really like him. They ain't even got to like him. All they got to do is act like they like him. And he goes for it because his self-esteem is so low and he, he's so thirsty for clout and for support. He'll take it from anybody without even doing a second guess, third guess, fourth guess or anything. Um, Carlos knows that. Carlos has been studying Martel for a very, very long time. And just keep in mind, a lot of these straight men um, that have gotten involved with baristas, and we don't know if that is the case with Martel or Carlos, but just hypothetically speaking, keep in mind that most men who have went, straight men who have, become that way it wasn't instant overnight like oh let's like each other and get in the bed together boom and here it is now i'm a, a, a part of the community it's a gradual thing it's not something that happens instantly and because uh martel is in such a vulnerable place right now he's so thirsty for um for support and truth is, honestly, uh, Martel, I believe, has a lot of animosity, not just towards M Melanie, but towards women. I think everything that he's going through with women is going to make him s resent women to a degree. Not resent women to the point to where he's not attracted to them, that where he'll never be attracted to them. He'll never take them to bed and use them. But at the rate that martel is going he's going to be one of those men that are going to despise women because he's going to feel like everything that he's gone through with arion uh and and, and mel and, and sheree and all of these other women he encounters and all the bad luck he's created for himself um in the alignment of how he involved himself with, the, with with these women Slowly but surely, over time, I won't be surprised if he becomes one of those men that really despise women. And Carlos, being a barista, he has a very big advantage that Mel, Sheree, Ariel, and other women don't have. First of all, let's say that, well, I will say, Carlos is not a, a dumb man. He's a messy man, but he's not a dumb man. He has a, an advantage that a lot of the women don't have. For one, Carlos is still a man at the end of the day. So he knows how to logically um, 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 break Martel's combination. He's, he, he knows as a man how to make Martel as a man understand where he's coming from logically. So Carlos can relate to martel as a man which is an advantage now the difference is unlike marso and maurice um who are straight men who are married and and and, and uh 
are 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 um you know basically straight married men Carlos is less of a threat because he's not straight and he's not married so uh Martel will not feel if Carlos did have ill intentions he won't see it as clearly because um Carlos is a different type of man okay so um, he won't be near as much of a threat compared to straight men, like I said, like Maurice or Marceau, whatever. Um, but so, so um, this gives Carlos an advantage because he, Martel, don't feel like he has to compete as much. Um, when Martel was in friendship with um, Marceau and Maurice, it was a competitional thing because at some point in time they all were pretty much. Um, on the same level as far as all of us are businessmen that are married to women um, who also are business minded so uh, Martel always in a sense felt like he had to stand up for himself or be egotistical with Maurice and Marceau and uh, or other straight men um, because you know it's this egotistical thing uh, feeling like we all on the same level but it's like some competitiveness there with Carlos he feels more safer and comfortable because there in his mind there's no competition there uh Carlos is not straight by his choice and he's not married um Carlos comes off as the friendly um friendly type of guy uh not very egotistical in the point to where he doesn't challenge Martel in a way in which Martel could easily become threatened by him so Carlos is, is smart enough to know how to channel in on uh Martel's masculine and egotistical side by being logical um from a man standpoint but at the same time um being that Carlos has feminine characteristics um and, and, and feminine emotions he also knows how to stroke uh martel's ego like arion did like charade did he knows how to make him feel like he's top dog that's why he's going on all of these interviews with him he's um doing all this extra support he knows that um carlos knows that martel feeds off of women being very supportive and and, and 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 stroking his ego and making them feel as if um he's a man that they really respect and support so carlos has that advantage um uh, of being able to use his feminine side that we know Mar martel capitalizes off of women's feminality he does Martel capitalizes off of how women feel, how women, uh, what women desire. He does all of that. That's why he goes to the gym and works out. That's why he uses his head downstairs uh, to make women that are, are slow and, um, and, and lack intelligence. He knows how to use the tool below his waist uh, to make a woman believe and think that uh you know she is basically willing him in to only find out that she's not getting nowhere with martel so i saw that to say this carlos has a big advantage in getting martel to trust him quicker than anybody um and it's easy for him to do that you know what i mean um so he's able to use his masculinity and his feminality It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that Carlos and um, Martel is too close for comfort. And I don't say that in, in, in the terms of that there may be something sexually inappropriate going on. But what I am saying is that um, if Martel is not careful his desperation and his thirst for support and his thirst of 
being an opportunist, he better be very mindful of how far he's willing to go to keep Carlos in his good graces because really at this point, Martel really doesn't have a leg to stand on. And he knows it. So, um, Carlos is like his, his, um, his last life preserver, really. Um, his last lifeline, you know, um, he doesn't really have too many bridges to cross because Martel has burnt so many, um, bridges. And I'm sure Mar I'm sure Carlos knows this. Carlos sees that Martel is a sinking ship. And I find it very ironic that Carlos is making it his business to be there for Martel every time the chips falls. Um, Donna supporting him, um, financially contributing towards him being able to go to Atlanta to see Sheree. Um, the fact that he's still campaigning with him going on all of these talk shows doing the empathy and sympathy interviews um he's making it his business to show his loyalty to martel in a way that he's not doing with the other cast i said this on my last video he's not caping hard for marceau maurice kimmy or tissue uh and he's not doing that with mel um you would think being that him and mel are the the captains of the ship that if anything it would make more sense logically for him to campaign with Mel even if it's not so much just to bash um uh, Martel but it would make more sense and this just doesn't sit well with me that um um Carlos um King it, it is is such pro Martel you know, um, they're in the presence of each other a lot. And my thing is, you know, let's say if Martel is not that way. Let's say if he's, uh, if he's nowhere, you know, in, in that frame of mind of, you know, pursuing men to be interested in men. I strongly believe that depending on how far Martel's back is up against the wall, because let's face it. He doesn't have much left to really work with. The show is plummeting. Um, his businesses aren't doing great. Everything he's tried, the wine, um, you know, all of these different business ideas and ventures has not worked. He's trying to come out with a, a, um, a underwear line. I doubt people are going to support that either. Um, he's a sinking ship. And Carlos knows it. And I just find it very ironic that Carlos is always there to rub his boo-boo. To always lend a helping hand. And because Martel does not really have no one else to go to, he's going to keep going to Carlos. And Carlos is going to keep supplying. He's going to continue to contribute. And depending on how deep things get, get somewhere along the line lines can be crossed because what Martel doesn't understand just like he has an agenda and when he can't get his way you see how um Martel has tried to blackball everyone blackmail everyone who has wanted to be done with him we look we, we look at how he is doing um male and male wasn't even in the wrong he's doing male in like male was the one who did him wrong um martel has no empathy for people who he has damaged and he still has the sense of entitlement even after he has taken a person for everything they has that they still owe him them male was just one in the many that was willing to take him on by any means necessary and that's why he fights her the way he does because she will not back down and when you're dealing with a narcissist they don't back down that's just as simple as that um arian is afraid of martel so she's not going to challenge him in the way that mel does she knows how martel gets when he gets upset um 
She knows Martell can get really nasty, really grimy. Um, and because of that, she's seen his evil could evil side. She sees that when Martell um, goes ham, he's a freight train. Um, he has no slowing down. He goes full force. Ariana is, is, is not woman enough to be able to endure that raft. So she will just still sit there and allow Martel to do whatever he wants to do. And not realizing is that she's creating the monster, a, 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 a monster that's going to get so big, uh, she's not going to be able to conquer it. Because when Ariana gets fed up, if she ever gets fed up, and she wants to start putting her foot down, uh, Martell is going to give her hell because Martell is used to her complying. Martell is used to Arion doing what he say do. And the moment she wants to get bigoted and boasty and try to stand up on him, all hell is going to break loose. I believe that is what happened with that last incident. They tried to downplay and Arion allegedly caught the police and uh, Martell allegedly was in jail but got out that same night and they allegedly covered it. Um, she saw it then. She knows Martell is a beast. And the thing about it is, Martell is the type of guy, he can do you wrong all your life. The majority of the time, she's the one that does you in. And the moment you just get tired, you had enough, and you decide this time you want to do him in back, that is when you really create a beast in him. He's not looking at the 565 times he did you wrong. He's looking at the one time you did him wrong out of 565 times. And uh, with that, he not only uh, will never let you forget it, he wants you to make it up to him. Um, once a person decides to retaliate and put their foot down, and if you don't have a backbone like Mel, if you're Arion and, and, and you'll go in strong because you're mad for the moment, but then when he starts turning up on you, you get scared. Not only uh, does he get joy out of seeing you be scared, become fearful of challenging him, he will also make you feel bad about it by telling you, I need you to do this. I won't be surprised because if y'all if y'all put the num if y'all put the incidences together. It's not too long ago when Arion allegedly caught the police and all of that mess went down. You know, they buried up under the rug and act like all of us are dumb and slow and don't know that um, he really got out of control that night on Arion. When he called the police, you know, when she allegedly, when Arion allegedly called the police, told them what was going on, um, Martell instantly made her feel bad. He instantly made her feel bad. He used everything up under the sun to make Ariel feel like stirred fried crap. You already see what my own wife is doing to me. You already see I don't have a relationship with my other kids. Now you're trying to take me away from my son by calling a man on me, knowing I can't afford to get my brand tarnished on this show because that's how I make money. That's how I support us. You know he put on this whole soap opera, this, 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 this love and flip-flop soap opera, make it seem like her calling Popo on him was going to cost her everything. Not him. Cost her everything. And her being Arian Air Mattress, the Dumbo that she is, she allowed him to make her feel bad about that. And that's why she came and did that live, trying to recover, save face. Didn't work. Nobody believed it. Nobody was convinced, except for the police department in Huntsville. They was the only ones that was convinced. That's why he didn't get locked up. Okay? Allegedly. Um, and to this day, I guarantee you, because Martell is so evil and so nasty, he is still hanging out over Arion Air Mattress' head. The reason why I can't hardly get no bookings, I can't hardly get no shows, nobody's not buying any of my products because of what you did. Because you caught the man on me. 
He is so evil and narcissistic. He will make you feel guilty about the one thing you did several years ago while he did several things. It's kind of like this. Martel could com commit a felony, several felonies, and you commit one misdemeanor, you are the reason he can't get ahead. And she's the dummy that falls for it. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's why she felt like she needed to come through for Martel when Martel presented to her and said that um I need you to put this uh sex video out and make it look like it came from this other person because we need to try to take her down you know that way we could build up whatever he said to make um Arion Air Mattress believe it's team us we got to work together that's why Arion uh, and Arion knew it was wrong, but because Martel the narcissist made her feel so bad, she get she had to get a second opinion. Because consciously she know what's wrong, so she reaches out to Carson Blue. Martel tells me he's gonna be mad with me when I don't do this because Mar Martel, I guarantee you, is still making her feel guilty about her calling a man. Not only that, let me tell y'all something. Y'all may not want to believe this. Martel is still making Arion Air Mattress feel bad about the fact that he lost mail. Do y'all not know Martel is letting Arion Air Mattress know every day that that marriage is gone because of her? I guarantee it. Arion Air Mattress is carrying all of Martel's weight. Martel is not about to be held accountable for anything. He's letting Arion bear that cross because she's the dummy with low self-esteem and low self-worth that's willing to carry the burden. And if you're not careful, listen, a man could go out here and cheat on you and do all kinds of disrespectful things to you and he wants you to carry the burden and make you feel bad. See, if you just would have, if you just would have went along with what I told you to do, I would have never even went out there and cheated on you with that woman. If you would have been, think about it. He did it in the mail. Look, I did it in the mail. It was mail fault that he went out there and cheated. If you would have been satisfying me, if you would have been giving me some head every night, if you would have been cooking me some steak or potatoes, you know, instead of some hamburger helper, I would have knew I had it good and I wouldn't have went out there and cheated. So if he did it to Mel, can y'all imagine what he did to Arion, what he took Arion through? Because Arion Air Mattress is more spineless than Mel. Mel has more strength. And look at how he tried to antagonize Mel and made Mel feel guilty. That's why Mel left him. Them kind of men like that are crazy. They will have you going out of your mind because you'll swear you're doing everything wrong when they're the wrong ones who are doing all the wrong, but they're going to put all they wrong on you and make you carry it. This is the reason why Arion Air Mattress was contemplating on, on putting this um, sex porn out of Mel falling up behind Martel because Martel has made Arion Air Mattress believe you're the reason why I'm suffering. You're the reason why I don't have my marriage. You're the reason why my wine is not selling. Everything, listen, everything that has ever gone wrong in Martel's life, believe me. Arion Air Mattress had to hear it was her over and over and over and over again. Why do you think she's always saying, he gets on my nerves. He gets on my nerves. He gets on your her nerves because he's constantly making you answer for the things that he has done. And you're too weak. You're too digmatized. You're too dick dumb. You're not a victim. You're dick dumb. You're so dick dumb that you are willing to sit there and take the abuse and take the blame just to have him in little Helmet's life. Thinking that if you if you keep taking the abuse, eventually it's going to pay off and you're going to win him over. He's going, he's going to see that you're the loyal woman. You're the dedicated woman. And somehow, some way, you're holding on to this hope that eventually you're going to win him over. No, you're never going to win him over. What's going to happen is Martel is going to keep getting over. And he does to this day. Arion can kiki and, 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 and put up this united front like her and Martel on, on the best of terms. She is miserable with that man. That man letting her know every time he, there's a reminder and things go wrong in his life, 
He lets Arianne know, had it not been for her getting pregnant, had it not been for her opening her mouth, had it not been for her doing what she did, even though he was the one who violated his marriage, things wouldn't be the way it was. He blames her every day for everything that's ever gone wrong. And he's going to continue to blame Arianne. But, Again, what he's not mindful of is that just like you got an agenda, everybody else does. So my thing is, you Martel has basically emptied his clip. I don't know if there's really any more bullets left in the chamber. He's hanging on by the thread. The show is sinking like the Titanic ship. Um, it's on life support. His businesses they 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 stop. They they fail before he can even begin. I, I, nobody wants to buy anything from him or support him in any shape or form. He doesn't get it that he's society's rejects. He doesn't get it that um, you, you reap what you sow, bro. Let, matter of fact, I need to do some scriptures. I did my scriptures, y'all, because I was really, you know, trying to... um. Um, make sure I stay on focus. I'm, but I'm, I'm going to throw, I'm going to put a scripture or two up in here. But Martel has to be very careful because what people have to realize is that whatever you put out there is what you're going to get back. Um, Job chapter four, verse eight. As I have observed, those who plow evil and those who sow trouble reap it. Martel does not realize he is still in debt with karma. He's still in debt with reaping what he sows. Um, he has to answer for the things that he has done in that marriage. And he will continue to. And he doesn't understand the only way his debt is going to be cleared is by one, repenting. And by two, leaving Melanie alone. And three, being a good father to his children. That's the only way he could pay karma off. At least some of it is by at least doing those three things repent stop taunting harassing male and just be a father to your children he's not willing to do any of those things and he's wondering why he's not progressing and what's going to happen is let me read y'all this scripture here because this is necessary this is necessary. Hold on, because I'm, I'm going to get it. Man. For folks. Family. So, what he's also not understanding is this. Check this out, y'all. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4 says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. But bring them up in discipline and instruction of the Lord. Colossians chapter 3 verse 21 further goes on and says, Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. This is what he's not understanding. He has indefinitely provoked his family to anger and resentment. And when I say his family, I'm, ta I'm not talking about um, Arion, Air Mattress, and Little Helmet. Um, his ex-wife Melanie and the children he had. The fool who provokes his family. Let me uh, let y'all know where this one is from. Okay, Proverbs chapter 11 verses 29 through 31. The fool who provokes his family to anger and resentment will finally have nothing worthwhile left. He shall be the servant of a wiser man. So, Martel is not catching on to the pieces. But what's going to end up happening is he's going to end up being a servant to somebody who knows more than him. Now, think about it. The last part says he shall be the servant of a wiser man. Now, a person can be wise and still be evil. Y'all know that, right? A person could be wise and still have an agenda. You have people that are smart, but they are vindictive. Smart, but they are malicious. Smart and have a motive. That's who Carlos is. 
Carlos is the wise man, wiser man because he is smarter than Martel. Business wise, intellectual wise, he is smarter. He is wiser. But he's also more malicious. Because think about it. If a person is more wiser, right? That means they're better. That that means their their wisdom also makes them even more uh, more wise even in things that are um that things that that are that are wrong in other words to make it more simple because Carlos is so wise as a businessman and wise as a a, 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 um, a man in the industry or whatever he's also more wise at being manipulative he's also more wise at being vindictive he's also more wise at being messy and he and, and why Martel thinking he's so smart and smooth and slick like WD-40 oil, he has met his match. Carlos is more wise and more manipulative and more vindictive than him. But the issue is because uh, Martel has provoked his family to anger and resentment and he really doesn't have much worthwhile left. He's putting himself in a position in which he has to be a servant. And what is a servant? Let's look up the definition of a servant. What's a servant? We know what it is, but I still want a, a more um, simplified definition. Okay, so a servant is a peer-to-peer -peer network nod, which has the functionality of both server and client. That's a little too technical for me. I want something more simple. A servant means one that serves one or others. One that performs duties about the person or home of a master or personal employer. Okay. On that note, Martel is the servant of Carlos. Meaning he is under his instruction. He is performing whatever duties that Carlos assigns to him in order for um, Mar Martel to get whatever benefits he's getting. But is going to come with a price. A servant is a devoted and helpful follower or supporter. Martel has to be all of that because he has emptied all of his, uh, uh, he has emptied his whole clip. There's no bullets left in the chamber. So because he provoked his family to anger and resentment, there's nothing left for him to do but be the servant of a wiser man. And because Martel has always been so cocky and smart and thinks that he knows it all and no one can tell him anything, um, he has put himself in bondage with Carlos. Just like it's a domino effect, just like Arion Airhead is in bondage to Martel, Martel is in bondage to Carlos. What ends up happening a lot of times, the people you think you're using, you also end up placing yourself in bondage with them. Um, Martel thought he was using Arion air mattress, but he ended up putting himself in bondage with her, um, meaning he couldn't get rid of Arion if he wanted to. He couldn't just walk away and be done with her if he wanted to. Um, they have a child together. Therefore, he's going to always be in bondage to Arion air mattress. Martel is in bondage to Carlos because Martel does not have a backbone. He's tainted himself as a businessman. Um, not too many people believe in him. I have confidence in him except Carlos, which brings me to my next question. Why does Carlos have so much faith and confidence in Martel? Bottom line is Carlos likes Martel. And I'm going to say allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, I feel that Carlos likes Martel allegedly. You have to realize that um, 
truth be told, most straight men don't care to overly indulge in the company of men that are non-straight, if you get my drift. Uh, most heterosexual men are very stern about keeping these other type of men in their company too frequently. Now, this doesn't mean a straight man can't work with a non-straight man as long as it's, it got to be a fundamental, a legitimate purpose. It got to be there's a business, there's money, and that's it. You may catch a heterosexual man only dealing with a non a non um uh, uh heterosexual guy um because there there's there's a a, a a a significant purpose basically but once that purpose has been fulfilled once that contract has been done once that business has gone through uh whatever you're not going to see that man in the company of him too much more I say this respectfully, but Martel is in the is over overly accompanying accompanying um Carlos. And Carlos is overly accommodating him. And and it's just not sitting right because like I said, he does not do that with the other men and even more so um Carlos and Mel was friends and he even said that and he claims allegedly to this day that they're friends but I'm not really buying it and nobody else is that he's still friends with Mel but I personally feel Carlos has an agenda a person is not just going to be nice just because they like you person is not going to keep backing you up supporting you unless they're not looking for something in return now where it's a gray line is what is carlos what could he allegedly or potential potentially or hypothetically speaking what is it that he's looking to gain out of dealing with carlos uh we don't have to take a rocket scientist to figure that out um and it may not it, that may not be the case but I'm leaning more so toward it being the case because Carlos is doing a lot of things that's out of alignment as far as the host of the show and a businessman. Um, he's showing too much favor to Martel. And if he's not having anything personally going on, um, he's still not making himself look unsuspectful. He's campaigning. Tra listen um i don't know is when they travel do they travel together do they ride in the limos together do does carlo picks him up in a range rover i don't know that has I, I don't know how that's going but they're around each other a little too much and i won't be surprised because um martel is a user and he's so desperate at this point I would not be surprised if it ever got to that point if hypothetically, allegedly, just for example, we just say it for fun. Let's say if um, Carlos did uh, make that attempt to uh, position him and say, look, you know, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I've always liked you more than a, 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 a worker or a boss should be liking their client i've always you know had feelings for you that i shouldn't have had because I, i've seen what you've gone through and i really see how these women are treating you i'm basically saying we don't know if carlos is baiting him let's say i'm gonna just play it off and be carlos who's to say that carlos ain't baiting him to be on some well you know what um uh, martel you know I just want to say this, that I really, really do like you. And I like you in a way in which I know you probably may not really realize because I'm sure you've always felt that there was this friendship and that's probably all you saw particularly. But me, on the other hand, I've always felt like there was something stronger between the one of us, and between the both of us. And I feel if we really took it to the next level, um, there's so much more 
I could really, really do um, to really elevate your career, to really elevate um, your notoriety. But I really would like, you know, would, would desire if we, if you would be willing to at least experiment with me and we can keep this amongst each other. This doesn't have to get out to anyone. You know, I just really, really like you. And I really feel like there's something we could build from this. And if nothing else comes out of it, you know, then we can respectfully still be friends and respectfully still work together. And, you know, we can let bygones be bygones. Now, I'm just saying, when if Carlos came at him, any of you in the chat, if you feel like Martel would be capable of taking a bait in hopes of being able to benefit, in hopes of no one else being able to find out, press one. If you feel like, no, uh, Martel may be messy, Martel may, may be a hoe, but he may be down and out and on his luck, but I don't think he'll ever go there, then press two. You do the math. We're just hypothetically guessing. And again, nothing's actual factual. This is just personal opinion and assessment. Um, I really believe because his back is up against the wall, in my opinion, I really believe that Martel would take the bait. And he would try to use it as advantage because Martel already thinks he's the sexiest man on this planet. He thinks that not only because he because he already severely because he already thinks that he's God's gift to women, he would not be surprised if you know Carlos were to admit to him that you know hypothetically if Carlos did have those type of intentions, um, I don't think Martel would be surprised because he already thinks he's the sugar honey iced tea, and if he felt like he can get something out of it, knowing the kind of power and clout that um, Carlos has, I believe he would take the bait. I believe he would take the bait. And let's put it this way. If it did go that way, we would know it if he didn't because if something frisky was about to go on or he was proposed with a frisky proposition, you'll notice it because all of a sudden, we'll just notice they won't be hanging together anymore. We'll, we'll either notice um, Carlos tried to make a move and Martel book, and now Carlos is embarrassed by it, and he knows now the friendship is going to be different because he done put that out there. So now they're not dealing with each other. Or two, they did deal with each other, but now Carlos is getting too aggressive. He's looking for more, whatever, whatever. And Martel wasn't looking for all of that. He just thought if I did this one solid, even though this is against what I normally would do, I'm thinking in the long run I'm a benefit. We'll know sooner than later. Uh, but one thing we do know is you have to be careful because what you put out there is what you get back. Because um, Martel has blackmailed so many women, his days is numbered. So he better be very mindful, him bunking up under Carlos being joined to the hip. You know, like Carlos is his iPhone. He better be very mindful because Carlos may have an agenda of his own. And he may very well be into Martel and is probably hoping as long as he's proven his loyalty, as long as he's proving that he's a strong supporter, that eventually he'll be able to bait Martel into being with him. Now, being with him, I don't know if relationship-wise that would work. I would think Carlos would even know that's really uh, moving the goalposts, but um, he may just want to experiment with Martel. I feel like Carlos is attracted to Martel. Um, just his mannerisms, the way he acts when he's around him. Um, Martel is so dumb. He's oblivious. He's so busy focusing on the prize, meaning I'm going to get over. I'm going to get something out of this. Carlos is going to um, be my sponsor. He's support me. He's um, helping to promote me and all of this and that. He's so dumb. He's sitting there thinking that Carlos is going to do all of this for nothing and not look for anything in return. There's not too often that a person is just going to be nice to you just to be nice. Listen, we are living in our last days where man, man is becoming a lover of themselves. Ain't nobody doing nothing for free. Even Arion, Air Mattress, Sheree, and Mel find that out. 
everything they ever did for Martell and with Martell, it came with the price. And I strongly believe while Mar Martell is sitting there arrogant, cocky, and bold, he's not understanding that he is being molded. Excuse me. That Carlos could be uh, uh, grooming him for his own personal use. And when he feels like Martel is really literally on his last leg, he may give him an ultimatum. Because I can't, you got to realize, Carlos is a bro -wister. He got ways like a man, but he has ways like a female. The emotional part of him, he's going to feel like I've been, I've given so much to Martel. I've been there for Martel, but nobody else has. And then there's the manly part of him where he, he's going to be manipulative about it. Everything I've done for you, I was there for you when nobody else was. So Martel better be very careful. He's so used to using women, he thinks he can use everybody. This is a different situation because most <clears throat> straight men would know not to even entertain um men like martel too long because um a straight man can look at martel until he does not have his life in order he does not have any structure they'll talk to him but they ain't gonna bubble him or make business ventures with him ain't too many straight men gonna do that but for some strange reason hell even maurice and martel i mean maurice and my soul ain't even trying to really bubble too tightly with um um not even on the business level with martel because they see his stuff is not in order even though they ain't all of that either but that's another story uh carlos on the other hand is willing to accept all of martel's flaws and faults for what why why are you not doing that with the other members of the cast why is Martel getting all of this special attention? Carlos could very well, allegedly, be attracted to Martel. And in some instances, men in that lifestyle, they rather deal with straight men because they want someone whom they can take the personal privilege of turning out. They don't want someone who's already been turned out. Because not as exciting when you haven't taken, when you haven't had the opportunity to give that person that experience that they haven't had. It's like that first high. People who have done drugs, people who have done crack cocaine to tell you, nothing is like that first high. Even if you get more, more, more crack, more cocaine after that, it'll never be like that first one. The one thing about a drug dealer he knows if he gets one, if he gets one that's that's never been hooked, and he can hook that one, he knows um, he's going to benefit and profit off of the new junkie more compared to an old junkie. The new junkie get that first hit, he's going to do whatever he takes to keep getting more. He going to steal, he going to rob, he going to kill the old junkie. Uh, been on it for so long they don't learn how to survive not having it for a while until they run up on a new lick until they run up on the opportunity in which they can get the money or whatever to get to get that high uh, but, but, but it's nothing like breaking one in who has not had that experience I believe Carlos um, has an inappropriate liking for Martel because it's showing in his actions he's doing extra favors um, he's showing favoritism. He's spending a lot of quality time with Martel. And Martel is so desperate, he'll use anybody. And he's dumb. He's probably not even realizing um, that Carlos might allegedly be feeling him in a way that he wouldn't be feeling him back. But because Martel is very conniving, and Arion Air Mattress has put out uh, rumors allegedly that Martel has those rainbow tendencies. Um, he very well, uh, could know that Carlos is feeling him in that way and he's capitalizing it. Now, is he going to give in when, uh, 
to the advances if Carlos feels like I'm putting too much of myself out there to help you and you're still not receiving me um, you're still not showing no interest back um, nobody does anything for free we'll see how long this bromance will continue um, to go on and um, it just not it's not looking good it looks very suspect um, it just doesn't sit well with me and anybody who's looking at the situation outside looking in um, something definitely is not clean in the buttermilk. Carlos has an agenda. Just like Martel has always had an agenda with women. And once he got what he wanted out of them, he discarded them. For Martel's sake, hopefully that's not the case because Martel is already a man under a lot of pressure. He's on the edge. He's already not really progressing. Um, the show is on life support. Um, Martel may very well know in consent that he don't have much to stand on. So if Carlos fails him, because in his mind he feels like everyone has failed him. Martel thinks Mel failed him. Arion Air Mattress failed him. Sheree failed him. President Obama failed him. President Biden failed him. He probably thinking all kind of people done failed him. That had nothing to do with his pathetic ass decisions. Because Martel is allergic to accountability. But anyway, um, again, not saying that something is going on. All of this is allegedly and based off of my personal opinion. But um, it, it, it's too close for comfort. Too much hanging out. Too much quality time. Um, Y'all going on all these uh, empathy, sympathy interviews. And... And, and, and Carlos is doing all the speaking, acting like he's um, a, 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 a empathetic spokesperson for Martel. And Martel being a fool and loser that he is, he's sitting up there milking it up and sucking it up like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got somebody that's supporting me, that, that's for me, that, that's, that's pro Martel. And not realizing that all of this could be a strategy. This could be a strategy for you to get comfortable with this man being there for you, you know, and when he thinks he's done all of what he needed to do to keep you afloat, he may look for something in return, you know, and if you don't, if you don't feel like he's worthy enough to return that favor back after he has done so much, uh, he's going to discard you. And the thing about it is he can go along with the program and still get discarded because that's what, Martel did to all the women in his life. All of them who went along with the program, um, he discarded them. Mel was willing to go along with the program, but um, he discarded the marriage by going out there, stepping out, and being disrespectful and dealing with Arion. He discarded Arion. Um, he doesn't hardly do anything with Arion anymore other than he may smash her and get some head. Um, same thing with Sheree. Once he got that little 10 minutes of fame on that other side of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, he discarded her. So anyway, y'all, leave y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, do you think it will get to a point after Carlos has done all, went all out his way to help um, assist Martel with getting back on his feet? He's going to look for something in return. Or do you think that Martel is going to go ahead and comply to where uh, Carlos really ain't going to have to look for anything in return because... Martel is going to return the favor once that proposition has been um, positioned to him because he's going to realize as much, he may think this way, like, hell, I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't want to get a real job. Um, i already been pretty much blackballed through the industry because of everything that I have done on the show. I might as well go ahead and take it and hopefully just see how I benefit from it. Um, leave y'all opinion book below. Let me know what y'all think. Matter of fact, um, those of you who are not catching live, you can leave your comment like you've been doing, but um, put the number one if you think Carlos is going to expect something out of doing all this campaigning and being pro Martel or two. You think Carlos is genuinely doing this as a friend uh, because he doesn't expect anything in return. He just really loves, he got such real love for Martel that he just wants to help him just to help him because he's such a good hearted person. Anyway, leave one or, or two. One, if you think Carlos has doesn't have good intentions. Two, if Carlos does does not have does have good intentions. 
So let me repeat that again so I don't confuse y'all. Number one, if you think Carlos is doing this and expecting something in return from our tail, or two, if you think Carlos is not doing this and to expect something in return from Martel. So whichever one y'all think, I'm just kind of curious. Matter of fact, I may do a poll on it. That may be easier. So I'm going to do that too um, for those who don't get the check, to, who actually won't get to view the live. So anyway, y'all, but before y'all leave, please hit that like button right now. Hit it right quick before you exit out the room. It is your diva and knowledge. Lady Mocha, represent Mocha's Ladies Lounge. Uh, I'll be speaking and chit and chat with y'all soon. Don't forget Father's Day is coming up. So if you want to go ahead and put in your order for tumbler cups, um, this would be the time to do so while I'm not too booked. So um, also birthdays may be coming up. Um, I'm also make tumblers for birthdays and special events as well. Also do gender reveal tumblers for those that are expecting children. So um, anyway, nevertheless, I will talk with y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. Uh -huh.